We are surrounded by gadgets, gizmos, and other smart devices. These devices are usually battery powered, and a perfect example of a smart device is a smartphone. We use smartphones in wide range of applications until they run out of the battery, and when that happens, we simply plug them and recharge them. But things aren't that simple for every smart device out there. Many devices don't have the luxury of being easily accessible, and the problem is that those devices can sometimes be really useful. Imagine GPS satellites as an example. Another problem with smart devices is the huge amount of battery waste they produce. Tons and tons of batteries are being dumped into landfills and oceans every year. Luckily, devices that don't need wire for charging and don't use disposable batteries already exist. They function by extracting the energy from the environment around them. We call these devices self-powered devices, and they usually consist of a microcontroller powered by energy harvester, typically combined with small, long-lasting rechargeable batteries. Just like with satellites, once deployed, these devices use nothing but the energy from the environment for, that, for a standalone operation. So, what's the problem here, you might ask? As you can imagine, these devices must be very energy efficient. And to accomplish that, they use different sleep modes in which they spend most of their operational time. Unfortunately, deep sleep means no continuous measurement of battery parameters. And that's a problem, because most of the techniques for estimating remaining capacity of battery rely on them. You have to know how much available energy you have to be able to spend it efficiently. My aim was to create a method for state of charge estimation that can be used on these self-powered duty cycle embedded devices. I leverage the fact that most duty cycle devices use roughly the same energy for the execution of a specific task. By measuring the energy consumption of a task and keeping track of which tasks are being executed, we can know how much energy was spent. Power profiling setup allows us to measure the energy consumption of a task and later use that information for determining the impact on battery state of charge. A battery model, which considers factors like temperature and discharge current intensity, was also created. With this battery model, model and a single voltage measurement, we're able to estimate the battery state of charge. This hybrid state of charge estimation technique achieves better accuracy and sensitivity to measurement errors compared to the pure voltage-based approach. Better estimation of available energy allows for better optimization strategies which can increase the performance, reliability and lifetime of a smart device. Smart, self-powered devices have the potential of solving many problems around us in a sustainable way, and I hope my contribution will enable them to bring us into a smarter and more greener future. Before it's too late.